Death in a family is always sad. Death of a breadwinner with a wife and children is even more so. Around the world, the death of a spouse in most cases bring up challenges that often undermine the quality of life of those left behind. For women, the world calls them widows. My husband died in 2000. 2000, January, when I carry so much, a born baby. I became a widow when I was 47 years old. And my husband was sick for good three years. And the family abandoned me and my husband. The family reject us. Nobody out of us. The family reject us. They reject my children. Nobody. I have to struggle. You can watch the rest of that documentary on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Now, joining us via telephone is Professor Shola Fosudo. He is the founder and president of Blessed Fruit Foundation. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Uh, the story of widows often seem a pathetic one. Uh, does it all turn on the lack of um, financial independence? Come, come again, please. Um, I'm, I'm saying that the story of widows often seem a pathetic one. Does it all turn on the lack of a financial independence? For the widows? Yes. Well, I mean, there are, there are various reasons why um, the, needle, the widows uh, need to be supported and empowered. Uh, but certainly one of them is uh, to make them financially independent. But also uh, it is to support them emotionally and uh, uh, to make sure that uh, they get integrated uh, properly into, into the society. Because... The moment their husbands uh, pass on, uh, they go through all kinds of uh, emotional and mental uh, situations uh, that make them need the assistance of uh, the society. So the foundation is set up to support them emotionally, psychologically, uh, mentally, and so on, and also to make them uh, financially buoyant to be able to support themselves and their children. Okay, often uh, there are children involved. Why do we not see families rallying to support these children in memory of the lost brother or son? Why do we not support the, the children? Why do we not see families rallying around? Because sometimes it seems after the demise of the brother or the son, um, they tend not to care for the welfare of the wife and children. Well, yeah, it's uh, really unfortunate. I mean, that's uh, part of what we inherited, uh, you know, in our society. Uh, most widows, well, well, the moment their husbands uh, pass away, in fact, uh, many families uh, begin to maltreat them. Uh, they don't care uh, how, how they survive. Only God knows why that, that happens. But I also believe that it is not all widows that uh, that, ha that uh, happened to. Uh, a few of them are supported by their families, but many of them are, you know, in fact, uh, maltreated. Okay, Sometimes let me, let me they will the throw jokes. them out of Sorry. their husband's house. Okay. They will tell them that uh, the property belongs to the man. Is now, I mean, you know, now, now belongs to the family. 
Okay, Pro so, Professor, I, I need to interject because we're very um, uh, short on time. I just want to ask you what your organization has been able to pro... Your, in fact, your organization has been able to provide a degree of soccer for these widows in need. My question is, what are some of the ways you have done this? Well, we have several uh, intervention programs. Uh, the most important is what we call business empowerment. We facilitate... Uh, business loans for there for those who, who are interested in doing business uh, through microfinance banks and uh, we pay you know the interest on the loans they only pay the principal sums and uh, then you know their children we provide uh, what we call back to school for them when they when they are going back to school every year we buy the school sandals you know school bags books and writing materials and all that. We also do what we call welfare program uh, during uh, major seasons like uh, Easter, uh, Christmas, Eid al Fitri, or you know all those uh, Muslim. So you uh, you definitely know. So find we ways to provide for these women in spite of lean resources. We thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. All right.